Business development plans, they're at the very heart of all strategic plans that businesses have. And for that reason, it's important to make sure that they're robust and still relevant for where we want to take our businesses in the future. Challenging them now is really important. We've had so many changes in the last few months and we know that we've got a lot more to come in the years ahead. To have a strong business development plan now will allow you to take advantage of the opportunities that are presenting themselves and to react proactively when the changes arise. When I say that to clients, they do ask me where they should start because of course there are lots of things to consider. Now I like to keep things really simple and I say that there's two areas to consider and the first area has five steps. The first step is to be really clear about what you want for your business. By that, I mean smart goals. So being specific, making sure that they're measurable and achievable and that they're still relevant for where you want to take your business. And of course, putting the timelines in. If you can do that, you're on the starting blocks of a really good business development plan. The second point is to look at your customers. Do you know who your good customers are? are and will be? Who are the right clients for you? That could have changed in the last few months. Be really clear about who your audience is. The third area, value proposition. Value proposition is about why should somebody choose your business for your products, for your services, and trust you rather than somebody else? If you can't articulate very clearly why, then probably they don't know. Fourth, your products and your services. Do you know what they are? Do you know the mix of them? And have you started to deliver them perhaps in a different way? Um, are there different elements now mixed in? Do you know what the profitability of each strand is? It's really key that you understand that in order that you can get the best out of what you're doing. And finally, but really not least, of course, is if you have teams, think about your people. Have they got the right skills and the technical abilities? Have they got the right relationships with your clients and your customers? Have they got the right cultural fit for where you want to go with your business in the future? If you can answer those five questions, you really are putting together a strong business development plan. And the second part of this is about looking internally. So that's around, have you got the right information and the right structures and support system in place to allow you to make the right decisions at the right time? So that's gonna be things like the management of information. Have you got KPIs that really speak to where you want to go and that are relevant? Um, have you got systems that are efficient? Have you managed to capture some of those efficiencies that we all talked about and the creativity in our lockdown period? And have you actually got a message that's going out to your team so they know what you're looking to achieve? They know what's important for the business. There's a lot that you can do there that can bring a lot of benefit to your business. We have lots of ideas and tools that can assist you in looking at this really important area. And we're keen to help businesses come through this process with strong plans so that they can really take advantage of what's lying out there ahead of us. Come and visit us, please.